just starting to move. And then this trick from uh, Bleeping Jeep. If I remember correctly, you can also use soap if you absolutely have to. I like using bread because the only mess you get is crumbs on the ground. You don't feel bad about wasting bread because, well, it's bread. It doesn't really matter. Especially when it's all moldy like this stuff is. See the bushes are almost out. It's about halfway now. It'll pop out in the next like two or three hits probably. Yep, there we go. Need that much more. Oh, there we go. It's out. Clean all the bread out of the back of it and uh, slam a new bushing in. Got our new slash used bushing. I should have done this before, but forgot to. Just pop a screwdriver. It's the best part about bread when you're done using it. In this case. Scrape out the guts. Needs a little bit of bread clean in there to clean it out. Actually, I got a little bit of gas here that'll work. Nobody would light a match. A little bit of gas on the rag. So the valve cover, light it on fire. Oh, that cleans it up really nicely. Is the right way to do it? No, that's slightly. The way I'm gonna do it? Oh, absolutely. It up nicely. Nice and dry. The bushing. Plastic hammer? No. We'll just use a steel hammer. It doesn't matter all that much. I need a big bolt. Where'd that one just go that I had? Oh, there it is. Same bolt from the original. I need something that will kind of absorb it. Smaller than that. Bigger than that hole, but won't gouge the metal. Brass would be nice. You know, that extension might. It's a lot less abrupt and round as the first one. And then flush. That's all that matters. Any burrs? No, it's on the outside. Perfect. That is the hack way to install pilot bushing. 